gentlemen, you have received instructions in the dressing rooms. Obey my commands at all times and protect yourselves at all times. Shake hands, good luck, and God bless. Telus Asemenios from Jacksonville, Florida, 33 years as a referee. He's, he's worked 48 title fights, and he is our third man in the ring for this Vargas Cardenas battle. Look at the height on Cardenas. That tall, five foot ten and a half, is very tall for a bantamweight. I'm five nine. I was tall for a lightweight, but he's a, he's a bantamweight. He's 118 pounds. No! Very tall. And he's got the socks, too. He can sock it to him. <laughs> and the little guys have socked it pretty yes, good tonight, yes. haven't they? <laughs> they have. We did You're see right. we did some did see some middleweights along the way, but for the most part, it's been big guys, little guys that have really shown the stuff. Uh, featherweight, featherweight, super featherweight bouts that provided some knockouts. Now that I'm an old man, I'm a middleweight. I'm gonna wait in the middle <laughs> yeah, right here. It's right in the middle. Oh, you look pretty, middle. pretty good for your age, and I'm not saying you're old. Uh, oh, good right cross, stunning blow, and a good comeback from Cardenas. Vargas got through that time. Vargas in the oh, red trunk with bang the white heads. trim. Right there, Vargas has a little bit of knot on his right eye. Cardenas getting through quickly with a couple of jabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most important box. Very good. Good. <laughs> good weapon. You know, when you're that tall, too, as Cardina says, get that jab working. Get it. Jab from across the ring. It's a good weapon. Cardenas effective thus far, throwing that jab. Vargas doing a little ollie shuffle as he comes across the apron. When you're fighting someone taller than you, many times you start off at the bottom and then work your way to the head. I think that's what he's doing. Vargas trying to get into the, the midsection and then work your way up. Five inch advantage in terms of height's big. And that jab has landed. Oh, and it goes. Oh, man, that was solid. Vargas is in deep trouble. Cardenas back to the corner. Oh. That's it. He's not getting up. That's it. Oh, wow. That what a shot! Wow. Holy smokes, man! And the and the doctor what hustles him to the ring. Yeah, you don't like so. to see a fighter on his stomach. You always worry about that. Wow. Now he gets a little yeah. bit of his Let him stay down. Let him stay on the mat. Stay on the canvas. Stay down there a few times. Take some deep breaths. It was you know, an explosive oh, knockout, man. but what we're a, our our what thoughts right now are with Cardenas. Man. Card Cardenas just loaded up, and Vargas is on the apron. Let's let's just wait to see if he's okay. Boom! Wow, what a shot! Right cross. You're taught to pronate your blow. Turn it over right at the end, right at the point of impact. Exactly what he did. And down and out. So so much credit goes to Jose Cardenas, but right now our thoughts are with. Antonio Vargas, yeah, who, no was, who, was, who was out cold, being looked at by the doctors in the ring. Well, they've got the light on him to see the response in his eyes, his pupil. And they're talking, it looks like they're talking, it looks like he's talking too. He pulled up his left arm there for a minute. So, wow, what a shot. Man. He's talking, which is really good. Yes, that's very good. Leave him there for a minute. He, you know, it's, they, they, they want to get these kids up sometimes too soon, and when they do, man, they go right back down again. Wow. Again, very credit, touching. credit goes to Cardenas. Wonderful job. But when something yeah. like this happens, yes. you have to put your focus yes. for a moment on, on the fighter that's been knocked out. Absolutely. And really knocked out cold. But it's great to see him up right now. That is a good. That's a good sign. Get on the stool, and then then you get him to his feet. And here's what was happening. Look at this, Cardenas. Whoa! What a shot, Cardenas. When you're taller than your opponent like that, you can punch down on him. You put all your all your weight, all the weight that you have in your body, on the end of your punch. And when you do, it snap. Watch it. Whoa! What a shot. This is hard to look at, but cracking right on the side of the jaw. Wham! Oh, and down face first. Not many fighters are able to recover from a face first knockdown like that. What a punch. And the referee who had to chase the fighter back to the corner, Jose Cardenas, didn't begin the count 
for maybe five to eight seconds later. So it was a long time that he was down before sure. they raced into yeah, the ring. Sure. And sometimes, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but and maybe it's the old man in me, but I see now these, these fighters, and why do you count? Why do you need a count? Do it's you need over. A count? It's, 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 you're right there. You're on top of it. it, 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 it there's a count. A count is 10 seconds that somebody, you know, it's just, it's just odd. I like that. Put ice on the back of their neck, put ice on their head, put, put ice on them. But that's, that's, that's a tough pill to swallow. Let's go to Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout concludes with an official time of one minute, 53 seconds of the opening stanza. Your winner, by way of knockout, Jose Chema Cardenas. Wow. What a story. <laughs> Cardenas had lost his last two fights. He came back with a flurry. Vargas loses his first in dramatic fashion. A first round knockout as the night of knockouts continue. Good to know that Vargas is okay. And congratulations to Cardenas for authoring an incredible knockout in the first round. We're back at Kissimmee with more in a